Five couples with age gaps ranging from 24 to nearly 60 years. It was sex, drugs and rock and roll. Are redefining the rules of love. I adore this woman more than anything. And how to tie the knot the age gap way. By marrying someone as old as your mum. I think he is very probably secretly cacking himself. But is it for better or for worse? Fish up! What happened? Can an 82-year-old multi-millionaire and his 24-year-old wife convince the world their marriage is genuine? It was a great time. Yes, <laughs> this time it? I it I... was. We reveal the price that comes with being an age gap husband and wife. I felt like I lost my kids and my grandkids. You were a paedophile and you, know, you should have gotten cut all. And we follow one age gap couple down the aisle on the biggest day of their lives. Is it possible for marriage to really work when your other half is as old as your granny or granddad? Vienna in Austria, the world's capital of music. The city is also home to Richard Lugner, multi-millionaire retail giant and one of the most famous people in the country. He's been hitched four times before. But this time, Richard has outdone himself by marrying a woman 58 years his junior. I never want to marry again. But she say, I want to be married, so I say, yes, we're married. The whole day was very amazing to me. And the wedding dress was also nice. 24-year-old <laughs> Kathy was once a nurse and more recently a Playboy bunny. Today she counts herself amongst the wealthiest women in Austria. Bring me so much more champagne. I need some more. Thank you. People are thinking I'm living in high life, but it's not like this. We are living normal. They've been husband and wife for just one month and are still coming to terms with married life. Richard? Richard! What happened? You have to help me. No, I'm not trained to be a cook. A lot of people talk about she's too young for me, but the thing is our personal affinity is the only thing. And if we be happy, it's okay. And if we don't be happy, then it's bad. So you want to have some eggs or not? Yeah, one egg for a minute. Yes, you can take a look on your watch. When it's not cooked for four minutes, you will I don't be a little like bit it. angry. Why it's not cooked for a minute? We'd be one month married and she fought with me the whole day before she was so nice. Maybe so I maybe I married her because she's nice. But this was a mistake because she's not nice now. Getting hitched can test any relationship. It's a very good egg because it's a four-minute egg and she said like. But is Richard and Kathy's age gap too big for them to handle? We had little problems because we're very busy. He's every time in the office till the night. I don't know, but it's nice. I love him, so. No? Yeah, you love me, yes. It's, it's nice, Did you... but you must be nice also. I am. Newlyweds Richard and Kathy are coping with married life one day at a time. But in Colchester, Sorry. Wow, my head. <laughs> Paul and Carol have now been hitched for 20 years, confounding the doubters of their age gap love. I mean, nobody would believe we'd ever last that long, would they? I mean, negativity, people at your work and things like that. Oh. No, look. Carol is retired and 26 years older than Paul. They first met when she was a band manager and he was a musician. I think I was starstruck at first meeting. I just couldn't believe it, how good he was. They started working together, but it wasn't long before Carol developed feelings for the 21-year-old singer. 
we were at a friend's house for a party and I just kept looking at him the way you do when you really fancy somebody. And I said to Paul, I said, I really want to go to bed with you. <laughs> he said, take it slow. And I said, I don't want to take it slow. I was a bit concerned because of the age. And after time, we decided to stay one night. Afterwards, I thought, oh, good God, I've got a bloody infomaniac here. He <laughs> absolutely wore me out. <laughs> but I'm sure I wore you out just as much. No, not really. No? No, oh, that's, that's fine. <laughs> I might go and see the doctor and get some Viagra. <laughs> I'll be up for that. Paul and Carol may be happily married, but many find age gap love hard to accept. Even more so when these relationships raise questions about the ultimate taboo. Can't even sort the gear out. Ah, my... Meet Joe. Uh, right, we're getting there. He's 68 years old and is from Chigwell in Essex. Just that way around there, right, oh, yeah, OK. That's another thing that comes with age. Bad eyesight. His partner in both angling and life is 30-year-old Nicola. She's young enough to be his granddaughter, but she's actually his age gap wife. Hey, did it. Did it, go, did it end up in the water? Yes, thank. Ah, not too far. That's stupid. Good. That was a good start, wasn't it? Ha ha. Joe has known Nicola ever since she was a teenager. When me and Nicola first got together, I was 53 and Nicola was. I was 16. I first met Joe through um, his nephew. I did a paper round at the age of 13. I struggled with a paper round because my bike was always playing up. My nephew said to me, oh, do you think you could fix a bike for her? I went, yeah, yeah, come with her. We sorted that out anyway. And then she used to come round regular with Robert then. Joe has had age gap relationships before, including one marriage. <laughs> And 14 years ago, he fell hook, line and sinker for Nicola. Oh, it's now or never. So I turned around, I just turned around and said to him, look, I really like you, you know that, do you like me? She went, oh, yeah, so the, you never see her face light up so much. People are under the illusion that a young girl going out with an older man, it don't work. But at the end of the day, if you really want something, you'll go for it and you'll fight for it. There were points when I half expected the police or somebody to come and knock on my door and ask me what was going on. But there was just something about Nicola I couldn't help myself. I just couldn't. Two years later, Joe and Nicola became age gap husband and wife. Nicola was just 18 years old. I think we wanted to get married from the day we met. <laughs> it just seemed that way. Sit down right here. In Sacramento, California, Aaron and Sherry are husband and wife, despite their 31-year age gap. I love Sherry with every bit of my heart. I adore this woman more than anything. They are so in love that former tattoo artist Aaron has expressed his feelings all over his body. The first time he showed me the tattoo, I thought, wow, that's really great. 67-year-old Sherry has returned the compliment. It's permanent, and I, I figure that's what our relationship is, permanent. <laughs> But five years ago, their age gap marriage would have been impossible. Right there, there's 21. Yeah, I, that, that was a time of my life I want to forget forever. Aaron served time in Californian state prisons for offenses ranging from drug possession to vehicle theft and robbery. This is California State Prison Solano. There's a lot of violence here. It's a good feeling because I can go to my home, not my six by eight cell. Aaron was cellmates with Sherry's son, Joey. He wanted someone to write to, and Joey arranged for his mother to become Aaron's prison pen pal. 
And I just figured it was just going to be one or two letters. I never thought it would go any farther than that. I was always really down on the age gap relationships. I looked at it like it's not a natural thing. Despite her views, their friendship developed into something more. But there was a problem. Sherry was already married. And I felt guilty about that. My husband and I had talked and decided that the marriage just wasn't working and hadn't been working for so long. And so that's when I decided just to go ahead and, and let myself fall in love with him. The jailers told me I was being very stupid getting involved with him. They didn't know him, not like I did. It was a struggle, but one thing that kept my mind focused was I had her waiting for me, and no matter what happened, I was going to get out to her. They've now been married for the past four years, and since his release, Aaron has been working in sales, turning his back on crime. If I had to compare the old me to me now, immature, selfish child to a responsible husband, she came to my life when I was broken and helped piece me back together. Age gap relationships can be risky, but they can also be a chance to find true love, even when your other half is young enough to be your son. I'm Lee, and I'm 25. And I'm Amy, and I'm 49. And we've been together for nearly three and a half years. Yep. And, and we are getting married. Really looking forward to being your wife. Before meeting Lee, Amy was seeking a new relationship following the end of her first marriage. Their paths crossed on a dating website when Lee was just 22 years old. I'd set myself this arbitrary lower age limit of 23, which is ridiculous, but I kind of felt like I had to draw a line somewhere and he was under it. So I just thought he was too young. Lee was living with family in Liverpool, but plucked up the courage to visit Amy in Sheffield. I was in a place I'd never been before, staying at someone's house I'd never met before, so I was a little bit panicky. I think you thought I might take your skin off and make myself a dress from it, didn't you? Well, it must have gone really well, cos he didn't leave. <laughs> Lee moved in permanently four weeks after their first date. She has an amazing sense of humour. And pretty easy on the eyes as well, which is good. Oh, gee, thanks. They overcame the age gap, but there was another problem, Lee's passion for computer games. Well, how much closer do you have to get before you're going to be able to launch your attack craft? Computers and computer games are the central focus of my life. I think I struggled at first with Lee's gaming. We did sometimes disagree over the amount of time that he spends gaming. So I did wonder if the person who games is a little bit selfish. But they eventually reached a balance between having time for each other and Lee's passion for gaming. Now, in just five weeks, they are going to become age gap husband and wife. I think other people probably do find it quite difficult to get their heads around, and I understand that, kind of. <laughs> Sometimes I think he's married to with a mobile phone. In Austria, it's been a tough start to married life for Richard and Kathy. Richard! He must he is to it. OK, so I'm all alone. <laughs> Although Kathy's family support her bold decision to marry someone 58 years older, other people aren't so convinced. The only inconvenient is uh, that people are talking too much shit about us. Richard's huge wealth affords him the luxury of owning a Viennese shopping centre worth more than £140 million. It's named after us and he's 24 years old. Oh, uh, give me a kiss. I said she, she tried to get nice. Richard can be found everywhere you look in the centre. Even the Queen has not been spared the Lugner treatment. 
This Lugna is Queen Elizabeth, and I, I, feel, I find it very nice, this picture. I have nice breasts, everything is okay by me. Now, amongst the ranks of Richard's head office staff is his young wife, Cathy. It's very um, difficult because he's a very strong boss and he, he, wants to, he wants from me that I'm doing things who I don't know. Sometimes he's shouting at me and says, yeah, yeah, do this, do that, but I'm shouting back. I have a big mouth, in Germany we say, a große Klappe, and uh, so I shout back. I think it's, it's nice to work for me, but sometimes I, I get, get power and say, that's not wrong, this I do. Even away from work, the newlyweds are finding it hard to be harmonious. I like to eat some pasta, maybe. Pasta? Yes. She wants to have a pasta. Pasta? Yes. Yeah, right. Carbonara? Oh, uh, yes, maybe. We have to learn to be married. And she, she never be married, so she, don't, she have to learn, but she don't want to learn to be married. Yes, I have a good teacher because you were married four times before, so you have to teach me. Richard's not alone in having been married multiple times. Joe's on his second marriage, whilst Aaron is on his third, and his wife Sherry beats them both. It's actually kind of embarrassing. Um, I actually was married five times. Guys were too plentiful. <laughs> I <guess>. I don't, <laughs> that's what I said. It's embarrassing. I don't know what to say. Um, it's just, I'd meet a guy and he'd think he loved me and wanted to get married, and I'd go for it. Paul in Essex married his first and only wife, Carol, when he was just 23. His mother, Pat, was understandably nervous. Hello, Mumsy. Hello, dear. At 72, Pat is just three years older than her daughter-in-law, Carol, and she had serious concerns right up to the day of the wedding. I was just worried at the time, and, you know, with a lot of difference in their ages. I yeah. pulled him aside. You said it's not too late. And I said, it's if not this is what you really, really want, really you want. can do it. He said he still wanted to go through with it. It felt a bit strange when she calls me mum the first time because of the age difference, but she's one of the loveliest persons. I'm really glad that you married her. Take it up. Nicola was married when she was 18. She'd already given birth to her first child with Joe, and she's now a full-time mum to four kids. Okay. I can see why people said that I was too young and it was wrong for me to get pregnant. For the people that are out there that do want children at the age of 16, then they should be respected for it. But for eight-year-old Cody, having age gap parents has been an issue. Quite embarrassing because the kids at school laugh because my mum's 30, my dad's 70. There's a big difference to that. Well, I tell them that if your dad was that, that old, that you wouldn't like it if people laugh. And even Cody's parents sometimes suffer name-calling from strangers. Yeah, I've got lots of negative stuff, like you're a paedophile and you, know, you should have gotten cut off and all that rubbish. And nothing ever happened between me and Nicola until she was of an, of an age anyway. The controversy caused problems between Nicola and her mum, as well as a big rift with Joe's child from a previous relationship. My middle son, who was only a year difference between him and Nicola, he doesn't talk to him anymore now, and he's, he's no wish to do so. Among the hills of Santa Rosa in California. Oh, yeah. I like it hard because I know it's going to feel good later. Uh. 
Warren is test driving his father's deluxe massage chair. Mm -hmm. Oh. Dad, do you have a name for this chair? Lucille. Lucille? Yeah. Lucille has uh, no mercy. It's <laughs> warm. <sighs> Aaron's dad, Randy, and stepmom, Leah, are both younger than Sherry, but they recognize the stability a much older wife has brought to their once wayward son's life. You know, what could be considered a, a troubled youth. So the last time you talked to us and, and you said there was somebody in your life, that was very exciting news. Well, Sherry, I thought, well, good for her. <laughs> <laughs> I think your love for Sherry is what's giving you purpose. Sure. Yeah, or yeah. We're, okay, and you're going to move this one over here. This is really special, you know, to have a, a family dinner. It means a lot. Since marrying 36-year-old Aaron, Sherry has fallen out with her own family. My daughter didn't take it that well. I thought she would be my one supporter. I felt like I lost my kids and my grandkids, and I think that was probably the, the hardest part of what this relationship has done. Aaron's also estranged from his children from previous relationships, but for different reasons. I have a 14-year-old son and a 12-year-old son who I've never met, only got pictures of. I'm very ashamed of who I was because I think of people that aren't there for their kids. I never wanted to be like that, and unfortunately I am. Amy and Lee would like kids of their own, but two years ago they discovered Amy could no longer conceive naturally. We tried and tried and tried and tried and tried and <laughs> tried. <laughs> But um, it, it's, we've had a couple of tests done and stuff. We've both been through the doctors, and it seems that it's just not going to be something that will happen. So, yeah, we discussed it, and we decided that we would like to try and adopt. Hmm. No, Charlie. Come on, out the way. Carol has two sons from a previous marriage who are both older than her husband, but she wanted more children with Paul. I, I would love us to have had children, but we've got four beautiful cats. That's our little girls and little boys. You lot, honestly, you'd eat me out of house and home, you would. Richard has four grown-up children from his past relationships, whilst Kathy had a baby at 18 when she was living in Germany. This is my daughter, Leonie. She's six years old, and I love her so much. I married the man who I wanted to marry. She's very glad about this because she has no father. He's staying in Germany. We have no contact together. She needs that. I love you, my baby. Twenty-four-year-old Kathy has had to make sacrifices for her new, well-heeled married life in Austria. I lost a lot since I live here. My friends, my family, everybody's in Germany, so um, I think he has to be happy. I'm taking my daughter and come to Vienna only for the love. In Vienna, multi-millionaire newlyweds Kathy, 24, and Richard, 82, are getting ready for a big night out. First stop is one of the premier hair salons in the city. This is the only place I can really relax. And after chilling, I'm not looking bad, I'm looking great, so wonderful. The salon is run by Wilhelm Hulebrand. I, I say I go to the world champion and he makes the best, I hope so. Over the years, Wilhelm has also styled the hair of many of Richard's past lovers. Listen, I know only the official one. I don't know uh, uh, how many he didn't bring to me. Because he had this one and that one and it didn't work and that didn't work. So uh, I just, I mean, in, there just comes another one, you know? I've been not the Casanova. This is only his meaning. He, he, maybe the, the, the ladies told him something, but I don't know what they told him. You're looking very beautiful but I and younger. These age-gap newlyweds are struggling to settle into married life. Being Richard's fifth, much younger wife means Kathy is having to withstand the slings and arrows of public opinion. 
when anybody thinks that I'm only together with him because of the money, so they can think it. I'm just given a fuck of this. Thank you. <laughs> Luckily, hairstylist Wilhelm is on her side. Listen, uh, first I thought it's just another girl, like before the other ones. And then I met her and I thought after 10 sentences I figured out she's totally different and she could be the right one. I didn't know that it ended up with a wedding, but I'm very glad it did, you know, because the, I think those two is a good couple. <laughs> Four, it must be that six, I think, is it? Seven. Back in Sheffield, 49-year-old Amy is taking a DIY approach to 25-year-old Lee's wedding day haircut. Perhaps shouldn't drink any wine before I do this. No, you? please don't. I'm just going to um, give Lee's hair a bit of a trim, ready for the wedding day. Here we go. Lee's side of the family have been supportive of his age gap relationship, but it's not been so straightforward for Amy. My family, some of them were a bit embarrassed about it, I think. It was probably my mother struggled the most with it. <laughs> <laughs> some of my friends were very supportive. Uh, others of my friends were less supportive. And I remember one particular friend saying to me, it won't work, Amy. It won't last. Um, she's coming to the wedding. Bitch. <laughs> Their marriage will have a Halloween theme, and Lee has even taken an alternative approach to his wedding ring. What we decided, instead of getting an actual wedding ring, is I'd have a wedding ring tattoo. And uh, I got it done there. It's a permanent thing, and it's, it's meant to be in my show that this is something I'm in for for the long run. So it's all down to you, Amy. Be nice, or I'm going to leave you with a funny bit. Not for the when you will. Ow! Sorry. Ow! Sorry. <laughs> You're cutting the hair, not the flesh. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Done. Done. Yes, I think so. You can clear up now, then. I'm going to have a shower. You can clear up. When Paul and Carol tied the knot 20 years ago, they had a wild time. It was sex, drugs and rock and roll. Well, it was. It was. It was brilliant, weren't it? I was 46 when I met Paul, and that didn't stop me at all from going to nightclubs and parties and things. Um, I just thoroughly enjoyed myself dancing. But there's a price to pay. That's probably why I've got osteoarthritis now. That could be. <laughs> Paul also has diabetes and issues with his mental health, which means he's currently unable to work. Carol also suffers from arthritis, but at 69, she has now become her younger husband's carer. Oh, thank you. I really appreciate that. I know. Being 43 and my wife running around after me at her age uh, makes me feel that I'm actually older than Carol. My legs are sore now. Don't fall over. I'm not drunk. <laughs> when you marry somebody, anything can happen. It's for better or worse. Unfortunately for Paul, um, he became ill at a young age, but it makes no difference to me. He's still my Paul. Without, without Carol, I, I, I just... I think I would just sink and fall into a pit. She's the only one that keeps me strong and going. So, love you. Love you too. You're talking about me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, now. Age gap dad Joe is retired and has also struggled with his health in recent years. I went to the hospital and one of the doctors turned around and said to me, you, you're suffering from angina. I got to the top of the stairs there, and I thought I was going to die on the spot. Eight-year-old Cody is well aware of his 68-year-old dad's problems. It's quite difficult to have an old dad because if he's got heart problems, he can't play, like, football or rugby or something like that. 
I'd love to be able to run around and kick a ball around with him. And sometimes I do, I do try, but it don't last long because it just kills me off. <laughs> Across the pond in Sacramento, California, 36-year-old Aaron has similar health concerns for his retired older wife, and for good reason. I had hepatitis C. I thought it was going to die. I thought there was no hope. I just have to deal with it. Aaron is now turning to training tips he picked up behind bars in a bid to extend 67-year-old Sherry's life. I used to bodybuild in prison, and I actually was in competitions and stuff. Basically, I've just been starting her out really slow because I don't want to overdo it with her. Let me go up. <sighs> I'm not doing that. <laughs> I just want her to live a long time, so I am trying to push her into uh, drinking lots of water and working out. Ugh. I'm hoping that it'll add another 20 years onto my life. We'll go one at a time, so one, two, good job. Two, two, three. That's really, really hard. Because <laughs> there's a lot of other stuff. I'd much rather sit on the couch and watch TV. Like Sherry, Joe has decided to improve his health by following his age gap partner's example. Now we're going to some sprints, OK? I've got a 22-month-old daughter at the present moment, and I want to see her be, at least be a teenager. OK, did you want to take your shoes off? Yeah. But before Joe gets into action, he needs a health MOT from Nicola's personal trainer, Sonia. 86. 86. 163 centimetres. His height, combined with a weight of 86 kilograms, means Joe is clinically obese. He's now determined to pick up tips to ensure he's around to see all his children grow up. This is something we know I need to start doing, isn't it, really? You know that, don't you? See you later. Yeah. All right, bye. Well, I want to be here till I'm 100 or whatever. I'd like to get the telegram for the Queen. Juice of plants. Juice Three of letters. Yay. Yes. With both now suffering from arthritis, Paul and Carol need help to get around. You moving? Yeah. <laughs> Just about. I mean, having his and her scooter is fantastic. I mean, as you can see, this is big, this is little, so it's little and large. Little and large, that's us. But there's fierce rivalry when the age gap couple are on the road. Stop showing off. I would prefer a faster one, I must admit. Go, 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 come on. Oh, you might have told me. Four miles an hour, awfully slow. Four miles an hour, I'm going. Ben is the boss of a local mobility scooter firm and can hold the key to Carol's four-wheeled dreams. What you've got is a, a very much an entry-level mid-range mid scooter anyway, and I'm not surprised. It's not so suitable. But I do have two scooters outside with me. Oh, look at that. Wow! Oh. The blue one. No, <laughs> yeah, I want another this blue one. one. Wow. Yeah. Oh, that's lovely. It's the ne next stage up. But yeah, really, um, if we, if you wouldn't mind, take it for a bit, a bit of a spin. <laughs> We're never going to see her again now. We're not. <laughs> we have to run after you. Wow! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. I want. Amy and Lee's age gap wedding is now only a few days away, and they're making the final preparations. Gorgeous. So I thought we might put the cake on here mm -hmm. and do the speeches and stuff from here. Yeah. We're going to put the actual buffet out here. Yeah? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. I wanted figs, didn't I? The average wedding costs £21,000. Oh, get them. But with Lee being a student and Amy a librarian, funds are tight. So we've got a £3,000 budget for the whole thing, trying to keep the cost for the food down as much as possible. 
while still feeding 100 people, <laughs> as you do. I think that's enough. Well, I don't uh... think that's anywhere near enough, Alice. Meanwhile, on the day before their wedding, Amy will be celebrating a landmark birthday. I will be 50, but not until half past six in the evening. She's counting the minutes. I'm counting them. It feels a little bit like 50 is quite a grown-up birthday. And I don't feel very grown-up, really. Don't start feeling grown-up. No. Occasionally, I'll just look around and go, oh, crap, she's, like, twice my age. Wow. Richard is nearly four times as old as Cathy, his bride of just five weeks. But they've been struggling to get on. So tonight, they are returning to the scene of his proposal. It was a nice evening with her. If it was not nice, I, then I, I don't marry her. This was the reason why we'd be together now. Yeah? Mm -hmm. She don't want to talk about this. In Vienna, the Eden Bar is the place to spot the rich and famous, including Richard and Kathy. It was a great time at yes, this time. Was I it? It was. I laughing. It was. Richard's last marriage had a 32-year age gap, but this time the age difference is closer to 60 years, making headlines around the world. I read it every day in the newspaper. Some say it's wrong, and the others say it's nice. And the others say, say what they do, it's your business. The people are talking too much shit about us. Some people um, be very cynical, so they can only kiss my ass, sorry. But a night out on their own that was meant to rekindle memories of romance has been soured by constant speculation about Richard's marriages. The problem is that he stand, he's not standing behind me, so he, he every time stands behind his fucking ex-wife. They can do whatever they want. They can talk about bad, bad about me. They can do anything they want. But what I'm doing, a little mistake, He's shouting, he's, he's, I, I can't stand this situation anymore. It's, it, it's fucking bad, more than fucking bad. Sheffield, and it's the morning of Amy and Lee's age gap wedding at the local town hall. Feeling remarkably calm this morning, I keep thinking I must have missed something massive that I should be panicking about um, because I'm not panicking at all. Had my nails done, I'm now having a glass of champagne and uh, I'm just feeling excited. I've seen all of Lee's outfit. He very much didn't want to wear a suit or a tie or a shirt and I respect that completely. I think he is very publicly, secretly, cacking himself. Uh, I was feeling a little rough this morning. Uh, I met up with my best man at 10, and he said, should we go for a pint? And we left the pub at quarter past three. Definitely getting a few funny looks. Uh, I think it's more from the, uh, the outfit. Uh, than anything else. It's, it's a little bit odd, the t-shirt. It's actually quite... Just show it. New, new game. <laughs> Top hat, waistcoat, new rock boots and bondage pants all fit neatly into the Halloween theme of the two o'clock wedding, with even Lee's dad entering into the spirit. Oh, not you see me over there, are you? <laughs> It's been that long since I've had it, I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> Hello, Joe. Look at that! Your hair's grown overnight. <laughs> I'm Amy Tom, I'm Joyce. I'm 93, I'll tell you that now. <laughs> Somebody said to me, are you going to get dressed up? I said, I've never got dressed up for anything, and I'm not going to start now at my age getting dressed up. <laughs> and once in a while, 
love gives us a fairy tale. So it gives me very great pleasure to say that you are now joined in marriage as husband and wife. Many congratulations. Would you like to do that? It was really important for us because of our age gap yeah. and because people have been a little bit unsure about it, maybe there's been some disapproval. So having our family and friends there to stand behind us and go, yeah, this is real and we support you, was really important. Yeah. I'm just really, really happy to be married to you. Kathy and Richard are still trying to patch things up. It's Oktoberfest, a celebration of beer and traditional costume. She's very nice dressed. <laughs> uh, she don't. She show too much press. She is only for me and not for others. <laughs> After all their recent doubts and just five weeks into their marriage, they're determined to work through their problems. I hope we are, we are healthy and we can change our life or relationship in the positive. It's my last marriage and I want to, to stay together with her till my life is ending. This we have a lot of problems, but we have time. I, I be young. I am only 82 years and so I have time to try it. <laughs> and she's again and again and again. <laughs> Kathy's sticking with it, even though her new husband is three generations ahead of her. But as with all marriages, ultimately success depends on just one thing, being in love. Nicola not only is my wife, she's my friend, she's my soulmate, and also somebody that puts up with me. Sometimes I feel like I don't deserve her, you know what I mean? I feel like that sometimes that I'm just very lucky to have her. I think the secret of success within any marriage, whether it be age gap or not, is that you love each other. It's a vision newlyweds Amy and Lee are looking forward to fulfilling for many years to come. Next time, more remarkable stories of age gap romance. You said, well, what are you going to do to me then, big boy? <laughs> and I said, well, I'll show you what I've got, and then you can have a taste. We meet the couples who believe they have been saved by intergenerational love. I had a really, really tough time. I almost completely lost it. But the only reason I haven't done that is because of John.